But yeah, let's uh let's go make a giant horror. Using every part, and then I'll turn storm mode back on for a little while. Okay, so this is this is Gothix's boat. Uh, let's do a new one using the blue bow bow. Uh who do we name this one after? There we go. Okay. So how much of a horror monstrosity can we make? Using all of my parts. Probably not as much of uh, one as I'd like. It's going to be long. We're going to run out of barrels before... Like, I think this thing's going to sink under its own weight. Just because I don't think I have enough barrels to save it. I mean, we could always go back to the Gothic's design. I don't think I have enough barrels to keep this thing alive. Okay. So let's, uh... Let's cut it down. Let's widen it up. But, uh... Ha. Huh. That was not what I was expecting would happen. Okay. Yeah, only get a couple of these. So let's expand. Yeah, I'm going to make some kind of weird dumb pronged thing. I'm trying to make a tanker now. I'm trying to make a something or other. If uh if I wasn't actually trying to play this uh progressively, I'd actually uh turn on the cheat so I could have every part. Cause that's actually that's like super tempting. But obviously I don't want to do that. Okay. I'm still surprised that these things are, are less buoyant than water. Now if I rotate this It doesn't look like I can use these. this as a brace. What can I do? Barrels. Barrels are too big. Can I? Oh. I can actually run stuff along the keel. I need to do that. At some point. Like, uh, run barrels along the keel? Because that would probably be a really smart idea. Okay, can I... Here? How does that fit? Yeah, that doesn't fit at all. Does that fit? It kind of does. I don't really know if it's going to brace it, though. Yeah, the problem is if I put a keel along the center of this thing. We'll we'll do that with the uh we'll do that with the Azeroth. I think that thing's the only that and maybe the Pyro. Those two boats can actually be uh can actually work with the uh with the keel system. You know what? Uh let's see. I put that right there. Okay, there we go. That kind of braces it. It's probably still going to rip itself apart as this whole thing goes. But, oh well. I mean, I really wasn't expecting much more than just absolute failure from this. Now these boxes... Oh, wait, no, no. This is a box. The boxes are more dense than water. We still have a ton of these blue planks. Let's see, can I... no. That did not. There we go. Now, can I fit that in? Wow. Can fit that in. Again, might have better uses for these here. Or like in various other spots, but that's okay. I keep seeing this and it keeps scaring the shit out of me. I'm like, there are, are weird nightmare monsters in this game? But no, there are no, there are no weird not nightmare monsters in this game. I just keep seeing them, and they worry me. 
Okay. Let's just connect that there. Uh, let's see. And pulls. I mean, generally these pulls are kind of garbage anyway. There we go. I'd like rotated it wrong. Uh, let's see. I do also have these like roof pieces, which I probably should have used before I put any of these down. You know what? Get rid of this. Let's just get the roofs on. I'll figure out where to put those plank blocks later. Because I think I can get uh, more roofs up here. Is that, yep, that's functional. Yeah, I want to get this this idea out of the way before uh, we get too far into the game. Because too far into the game, and I'm just not, I'm not going to be able to um, use every part. Well, I can still try. I guess it won't be so bad once, uh... It won't be so bad once I have this one built, because then, uh, then all I have to do is just tack parts on. I don't even know where that that pole went. It's obviously a concern. Is that the right? Yeah, that's the right spot. Okay. So let's, let's get the sails on next. One. Two. Don't, don't think about it too hard. And then I don't know, right here, hopefully that's not going to screw it over. I mean, it might. Probably will. Like, I bet the purple sail is just going to rip right off, and I alt tabbed out of the game. Whoops. I'll put it right there. Okay, so we have some crates. Crates are non buoyant. At first, I wasn't going to use them, and I was like, wait a second, no. This is, this is the use everything, period. I'm not even sure if I'd call it a challenge or just. stupid. But one way or another, I, I promised I'd use everything. Let's see, I'll just do that across the center there. I feel like I'm usually just bracing around the uh, the purple sail because I can I can never find a good spot to put it. Yeah, I guess that's exactly what I'm doing. Okay, what the heck is a rib for? I don't know. Actually, I really dig the design of the rib. Can I can I put it like back here? Is that oh no, that's 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 not at all where I thought it was gonna end up. Uh Okay, that's that's a good spot. It'll keep it down at the very least. What is this? A red stump? Oh Jesus. This thing is huge. Well, it's less dense than water, so I guess I'll just run it off the uh, than the front. Okay. Actually, this thing is according to uh, according to the stats. This thing is buoyant. Which feels like utter nonsense. Let's fit the thief boxes in. They're small. Ooh, okay. Uh, put that there. And unfortunately, perspective is going to be my enemy in a number of these circumstances. Uh, you know what? Let's cancel that. Let's uh, let's go back to putting barrels on this thing. So I've got three red. I'm gonna get rid of that one for just a second. We're gonna put the. Uh, We're gonna put the dark barrel there. That way, I have uh, that way. I have four red barrels. Can I? Okay, there we go. I don't know why symmetry is so important to me. It just always has been.
But yeah, let's let's just line this thing. I could put the barrels lower, but I don't know how badly that matters. At least not for this. Like, I think this thing is going to destroy itself not only under its own weight, but under the uh, collective weight of all the storms that we're going to get hit by. So it's kind of just like, eh, I mean, oh well. Let's put the life preservers at the end. Make it look like it's got, like, jet thrusters or something. Not really. Let's see. Maybe because you're artist, you like symmetry. I mean, yeah. This is true. Okay, so where's where's some bad spots that I can put these swinging lanterns? I mean that so far so good. Energy tank. Can I get that back in there? Yeah, I can. Doesn't really have a whole lot of uses for me. Let's see tethers. Big tether. Little tether on top of the big tether? Nope, that's that's not at all the right location. I guess I'll just put it in front. Okay. Wait, can I... Oops. That didn't work. Okay, so I can put lanterns on top of the, uh, on top of the tethers. So they do have snap points on top of them occasionally. Oh, I see. There's no snap points here because the, um... They don't have snap points in that case because the the sail was in the way. Is that the right spot? Yep, floating slightly above the box. Don't question it. All right, where do I put the uh, walrus tusks? Obviously here. All right, now here's here's the question. Can I... Yep. All right. <laughs> Wasn't really expecting that, but it works. Okay, now can I No, it looks like the snap point there is is busted, so I'm just going to point this forward. Okay. Watch this actually be the best boat I've ever made and it actually works. It's like the biggest lie I think I've told all night or the the biggest there's no way that's that's going to work let me see can I can I put this thing up top anywhere if I could get it up here that'd be wonderful It's probably a bad idea. My keel is a giant spinning, f spitting fish. Okay, so we have an orange crate, which is huge. Oh, why is that so large? Um. I was not expecting such a massive box. Okay, well, it fits in awkwardly, but it fits. Let's see, we also have the blue chest, which I think I can just cram. Oh, this is starting to lag a little. Just put that down. Where'd that end up? Uh... Yeah, the problem is there's too many there's too many points, and it's live rendering them. Okay, there we go. It's exactly where we needed it to go. Now I've got a bunch of these poles. I'm not really sure where to put them. Hmm. Can I... I was kind of hoping I could put them between the barrels. That doesn't work. 
Um, yeah, they're snapping to some places. Okay, that that looks that looks promising. And normally I use these for picking spots. That's a that's bad. Okay. I don't even know where that ended up. Well, can I Can I run this on the bottom of the barrel? I can attach it to that. All right, screw it. We're going to have a new keel. That's it. It's the deeper keel than all the other keels made of poles and shit that are probably going to get bro broken off really easily. But you know what? I'm just trying to use every part. Even if it's, uh... Well, wildly excessive at this point. Let me see. Now, can I brace it in some way? I think that would actually be the funniest part of all of this. Brace the pole keel. Did that? Nope. That didn't work. It looks like it's connecting, but it, it's not. Oh, I had it for a moment. All right, there we go. All right. I really am just kind of grasping at dumb straws. That no, that didn't work for any meaning of this uh, meaning of the word. I should probably actually take these and. Can I put them there? Okay, yeah. More more bracing. Try that there. Alright, two left. Well, I mean, it's another pull. Seeing as I don't know what to do with them. Oh, boy. Oh, it's like a teeny bopper pull. Shit, I don't even know what to do with one of these. Just gonna stick it there. Do I have another of this variety? No, it's like slightly larger. Symmetry matters to me, but sometimes it's impossible. Okay. Then we have just a random other pole. That's even smaller than the last one. Okay, close enough. Uh this thing's gonna sink immediately, isn't it? Huh. Sometimes you can just ignore density, uh, the density of your craft with sheer force of girth. Um, okay. Uh, it's, let's go into game options. Can't go into game options from here. Alright, let's try this, let's try this again. Let's go to Twitch. Chat can turn on storms. There's pretty much nothing I can do to fix this thing at this point. So I'm just going on an adventure. Good luck. Huh. Is it coming back up or... Up, oh, there it goes. Let's put the sails back down. Whoa! What? <laughs> I... Well, it's intact. I gotta go back, though. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave the sails down. Because the, uh... There's no... There's no point in having... I mean, I might even just rip the sails off this thing preemptively. And we'll just... Have the good luck raft. Okay, up. Down. It's very bottom heavy, which helps. Yeah, I might actually just go back and take the the sails off. Yeah, uh, next time we we sink, I'm gonna take the sails off, seeing as they are seemingly the the biggest problem we're running into.
Unfortunately, Invoke Storm more or less just makes everything a uh, seizure warning. It's pretty bad, actually. Huh. Do we break it? I feel like we broke it. Oh, no, there it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Those poor jellyfishes. <laughs> They're trying so hard. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, I, I pretty much all of my sails are meaningless, and then it just goes into seizure mode. Which, the problem is, uh, this is actually giving me, like... So, I already have, like, a really bad, uh... I have a really bad headache right now for whatever reason, and this is just making it ten times worse. Yeah, let's see if I can get a hitchhiker. Nope, no hitchhikers. Oh boy. Well... What are my... There is some weird 3D model nonsense going on here. We go very high. Alright, let's, uh, let's continue trying to move past this island. Chances are I'm just gonna run aground because I can't go anywhere. Oh, we've lost... we've lost the, uh, we've lost the keel. Yeah, no, I... you don't need to tell people to stop yet. Uh, I'm just... Not actually sure if I'm going to be able to go particularly long for tonight. Like, I've, I was hoping I'd get a, a bunch done, but right now I'm just like, all I want to do is just be catatonic. But yeah, I, I have made an unsinkable boat with literally every part just by making it massive. I, part of it is just uh, keeping my, my sails down. However, it's also a completely unsteerable ship. Like, there's there's no steering this thing. It is too big. I'm just going to keep the uh, sails up. Let's see how long it takes for my ship to wreck itself. I'm trying to turn around here. It is not working. Wow. This is, uh... Oh, I almost have the ability to steer this thing. Uh, if we don't... If we don't crash into this rock... Oh, we're gonna crash into the rock. Oh. Huh. And... There we go. Yeah. Like, all storms... Well, maybe not all storms, but... Like, all ships that run aground... It gets pretty bad. No, I'm clear of it. Problem is, the wind's still not working for me. Okay. And the fact that it's so flickery is kind of horrifying. Yeah, I can't turn this thing around. It is, it is truly at the behest of the winds. All right. Well, I'm functionally unsinkable. Even with, uh... It'll happen eventually. But this thing is, uh... I don't think this is going anywhere. My sails are backwards. Uh, well, they're backwards because I can't, I can't turn. They, uh, they clipped through the mast. But yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off the storms. I, I like the idea of, of summoning a storm, and if it stayed like this the entire way through, it'd be okay, but... It immediately, like, resets itself, and then we just get crazy, crazy flicker time. Okay, well, this was fun. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go back to port just in case. And then I guess let's, uh, let's switch games for a little while. I don't think I'm gonna make it to Okami tonight.